Hey guys, we're going to jump right on into this DIY today. This is, again, a sponsored video for BB Craft. And what we're creating today is a three-tier server. Now, these are the products that I'm using today on this project. This is the 4mm clear crystal rhinestone wrap. 3mm crystal rhinestone wrap and a 2mm crystal rhinestone wrap. These are the levels for the three tier tray and this is going to be the base. So without any further ado, oh sorry, you guys need to know what glue? You asked me that the last time. This time we're actually going to use a Gorilla clear grip glue for this particular project because I want it to be super permanent. We're also going to use just a little bit of hot glue because of the shape of what we're doing. I need it to stay in place until the Gorilla Glue sets up. All right. Trusty alcohol for cleanup. And I think that's it, you guys. So let's get this party started. We're going to begin with the larger plate first. I'm going to put a dab, just a dab, you guys, of hot glue right where I'm going to begin, just to hold it in place. And I literally mean a dab <laughs> of hot glue. And we're going to go around the rim. First layer is complete. All right, let's move on to layer three. And remember, the hot glue is just to get it started in that little area. So it'll have something to hold on to while you wrap. You don't want it to keep dropping on you. Okay, let's finish this wrap. Okay, here's level two completed. We'll set it aside for it to go ahead and set up and dry. I'm gonna move on to level three. The last and final level is level three, the smaller of the three. Same process, rhinestone wrap, apply one dot of hot glue, apply your adhesive. So we do it in four corners, that way it holds and at the end I'll show you how I go back and remove the hot glue because you don't want that hot glue clumped on your project. So we'll be right back. Keep on watching. Okay, we're going to move on to the actual hardware that's going to connect the three levels together. We just have three, two, one, two, and three, okay? And we're gonna wrap the stem of the hardware with the, I think it's the one, the two mm, okay? Self-explanatory, here we go. And you guys know I like to brush on my adhesive for the stem projects.
Okay. Now let's do the alligator roll. Uh, I'm going to turn it so you can see what I'm doing here. And we're going to do this technique to all three pieces. Oh, hang on in there. Alrighty, we're through with the first piece. And I want to show you guys something here. This is another little technique that I do when I'm wrapping. And instead of keeping it, making sure that it stays straight, like here, up and down on top of each other. When I do my twist, I like to do the twist at different angles so that I get this pattern here. I don't know if you can, there you go. I twist it so I can create this pattern that goes up and down. It swirls in and out before the glue actually sets up. And this is real easy to do. Once you get your adhesive on and you start wrapping, you stop and by that time you have an idea of what your pattern if you want a pattern in there and you just twist it ever so slightly until you create whatever pattern you have in mind for this one this is the pattern that i wanted on the stems real easy to do okay give it a little damn touch all righty we're going to go ahead and i'm going to create this with the other two pieces and we'll be right back. Twist, twist, twist. Okay. Okay. The base for our three tier server stand. It's going to be this little um, glass tea light um, candle holder from Ikea. I don't know if they still carry them. A lot of the pieces you see me do work with from Ikea, I've had for quite a while. So you may have to uh, search their website to see if they're still available. But the only thing we're going to do with this, we're going to go around and wrap the base with the 2MM. Self-explanatory. All right, all right, all right. The pieces are dried. Okay. And I cleaned it up and forgot to hit the record button, or I thought it was recording, and it wasn't. <laughs> so, um, all the pieces are dried. And what I do, because I did tell you, I'll show you how I go back and remove the glue string, the glue, the hot glue that I put in there. This is all those hunks and chunks that I was talking about. What I do is I just use the alcohol and a large Q-tip, okay, the 91%. And I go around and clean all the areas up like this, and then I'll soak it real good in that area where the hot glue is. Then I'll take this little gadget here that I actually purchased to do eyelashes, but it's a multi-purpose. I couldn't use it for that, so I'm using it for this. Crafting. <laughs> anyway, um, what I'll do is once it soaks a little bit, I'll just pull it out of there. And if it's a little struggle sometimes because it's really set, I'll just clip it with the small crafting scissors. And then we're done with that.
So now we're just going to put all the pieces together. Okay, put all the pieces. And with this particular set, and I did forget to tell you where I got the pieces. This actually came from the 99 cent store here in our area. And we have the foam washers that you place in between to give it a cushion because this is glass and when you're tightening it up, you don't want your glass to crack. Okay. There we go with the first piece. is attached. We're gonna just fix a few little spots here and there and we're done.